when inmates arrived, the first thing that would happen was they would have their Bertillon measurements taken. Alphonse Bertillon was a French police officer that developed this line of measurement as the main idea to identify inmates all over the world. Back about 1900, though, at good old USP Leavenworth, an individual by the name of Will West shows up to the institution, and the guy looks at him, and he says, have you been here before? No, sir, I haven't been here before. You sure you haven't been here before? Absolutely not. Takes his measurements, and he says, I think you've been here before. So he starts looking up inmate records and inmate files and finds a file on an individual by the name of William West. He pulls the file on that man, takes the pictures, they look almost identical. He takes their Bertillon measurements and they're almost identical. Two separate inmates. One was there for murder, one was a thief. So fingerprinting. Fingerprinting was actually developed by the Persians in the 1400s. It was used to seal documents and any type of government documents. So, Scotland Yard decided along about 1895, you know, this Bertillon thing's just not working out. So we're gonna start taking fingerprints. R.W. McLowry, our warden in 1900, went to St. Louis to the World's Fair. There, he met a young man from Scotland Yard who was guarding a display of fingerprints and talking to the people about how fingerprinting was becoming the new way of criminal identification. R.W. McLowry fell in love with this, brought it back to the institution, hired his son to become the head of the Criminal Identification Bureau, and USP Leavenworth actually taught the entire law enforcement community of the United States between 1900 in 1930, the art of fingerprinting, until the FBI decided, we can do a better job than you. <laughs>